Hi, it's Kevin Raber, and welcome back to the Daily Chat. Today we're going to talk about something dear and near, or is it near and dear, to my heart. My iPhone. And this is a super camera. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, obviously there are other iPhones out there and there's other devices out there, but I'm going to concentrate on the iPhone because I think it's the finest camera that... I work with as far as my mobile device and it allows me, and I think this is the most important part, to have a camera with me at all times. Uh, I've got the ability to, and that, I'm going to switch over to the screenshot for the camera right now, and I'm going to record it. So wait till that's running. Here we go. So, as you can see, I'm I'm filming me filming me, and I've got a wide angle lens, a normal lens, a telephoto lens, and even a more telephoto lens. And I can also zoom in at any time, do digital zooms and zoom in and out like this. It's a, a pretty cool camera to, to work with that way, and uh, it allows me to do all sorts of cool things, especially in regards to the different modes, like a portrait mode and a pano mode, video mode, all sorts of cool stuff. Anyway, we're going to talk more about these modes and using the camera at another time. But what I really want to do today is just show you the photo app and introduce you to why I think the iPhone's so good. The other thing I love to work with this, and this is where I thought I would start with as far as an introduction, is the Photos app. The Photos app is really, really kind of a cool app. You can see it here. And it allows me to take my pictures and all the pictures go into the Photos app. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to turn it horizontal at this point so all of us can see it better. 113,000 photographs. Actually, it's 113,723 photographs and 602 videos. Now, these are really, really good and you can scroll forever if you want and you know you can see all the pictures all the way back up to who knows when I started taking it but you can also view it by years so it's a little bit more convenient uh, years will give you all the pictures in a year and then you can click on a year and take a look at them so let's do uh, let's go back to 2013 if I click on 2013 you can see a list of all the different places I've been and I can just click on one and we can take a look at some of the different pictures. These were done in Longyearbyen on a, a trip to Salvard. Okay, back to the other part that we can do. We can do months. So I can also look at my images by months. There you can see it's August 2023. There's July 2023 and June 2023. So I can go in any one of those. I can click on it and you can take a look and scroll through any of the images. This happens to be one of the print workshops that we did. And you can see how those are set up. Now we also have all photos. Or we actually have days. So days works pretty cool too by the month. So as you scroll, you'll see the calendar in the upper left corner change. And we'll go back to all photos. And all photos is where I kind of like to be. Um, I have, when I actually do this too, I have an albums. So Albums allows me to look at all my images that I've moved in the Photos app to different albums. So, for example, I have an album called Social Media, and you can see here's the images in the uh, Social Media album. If I go back uh, and scroll into a different album, and let's just pick one over here. Here's Ansel the Cat, my cat. So I have an album for Ansel. Uh, very cute pictures, and I can just touch one. And then I can rotate at the bottom so you can see all the cute pictures. There's a cute picture of him. There's, oh, it's Ansel. Uh, so I name my cats a lot of times after uh, well-known photographers. So this has a lot of versatility. Um, there's another cool thing in the album section where I can go to places. And you'll see my United States map pop up here. And you'll see there's a bunch of squares. And the more I zoom in, those squares will break apart. And for example here, let's take a look at this one. I can click on any one of those and take a look at what those images were. Then I can tap on an image and I can zoom on an image. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can go back and forth and do a lot of different things. So 
the Photos app and the whole idea of the concept of photographing, having your image goes immediately up to the cloud and then off to your other devices that I can then edit with and sort with and do things with is a real, real plus to have. So this is just a brief introduction to the iPhone and the Photos app and what I do with it. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is Kevin Raber. This was the Daily Chat, and I'll see you tomorrow.